Welcome adventurers! So this is going to be another unboxing video for, well we're unboxing X-Men Marvel United. Probably doesn't show me that well. <laughs> well, you know what, it's not, there you go, we got it. You'll see, you'll see it soon, you'll see it, don't worry, don't worry. So yeah, we've actually got an awesome unboxing video today on the Dice Saga channel. And I'm joined by our newest member of Dice Sagas as well, Sarah. So, you know, I can't really hear you applaud or anything, but I'm, I'm sure you are doing. For me personally, X-Men has always been one of my just childhood cartoons I've watched. You know, I can just hear the 90s theme tune all the time, so I love it. I can, honestly, I cannot wait to get stuck into this. What about you, sir? Because I know we've actually played a little bit of the original Marvel United. You obviously taught me that game and enjoyed it. But this, for me, is like next level because I am right in thinking that we have got like, you know, Magneto, we've got like kind of frenemies, I want to say. Yeah, so <laughs> the difference in, well, there's a lot of differences between the original yeah, game yeah. and this one. But one uh, specific feature that this, that this one brings out is anti-heroes. Mm. So characters that within the main storylines of the uh, X-Men series mm. are both heroes and villains. Uh, they are represented in a purple plastic, which is between the blue heroes and the red villains. Got you. Um, and those characters can be used as either the main villains that you fight against, or you can use them as heroes in the games as well. There you go. And we will be, <laughs> we'll actually do a play long for this and how to play in the future as well. But for now, just quickly touching on the artwork again, you'll see all this coming up anyway. But the artwork itself, it's, it's so, it's so good. Just looking at the yellows and blues and everything and dragging it, I was like, you can, you can see them in the background. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> good point. <laughs> Check out the background. It's all good. So yeah, so uh, we'll see you shortly. What we got here is Marvel United. Um, so it's the X-Men version. So as you can see here, we've got some absolutely awesome artwork. You've got all the very, you know, again, I, shouldn't, I can't really sing it for copyright reasons, I don't think. But. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I think for copyright reasons as well. You can't just can't really, you can't really hum it or anything here, so I think we're just going to leave that out. But you can just uh, check out the videos, you know, all that stuff from the 90s theme tune of X-Men. I'm sure you'll love it, <laughs> if you don't remember it, that is. Um, but yeah, no, this, this artwork just looks absolutely awesome. Sarah, what, what do you think the well, terms of visuals compared yeah. to even the original as well? Even like the, the, even on the original one, it was really really good artwork. I think, mm. especially with uh, how everybody remembers like the '90s cartoons, it was very uh, yeah, it had very colorful characters and outfits, and you would always you would always love seeing like the introduction with the explosions and all the characters using their special powers. And I think this is a pretty good representation of uh, of those characters. No, oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's been, it's, uh, as I mean, as you say, though, it's very colorful, draws you in. For me, the artwork, the box, everything like that is awesome. But I know what you guys are interested in. What's inside? So, drum roll. <gasps> Let's go. <sighs> oh, more artwork. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll skip past this artwork bit. Um, so let's have a look. So what we get here is the, I believe it's instructions mm -hmm. we have here. So again, and obviously when you guys obviously eventually get this, if you do get it at all, you'll obviously get to go through all this. Um, I'm assuming Sarah is a pretty similar to the original as well. Yeah, I mean, unless you want to start going through the original, you know, start going through the, uh, the different rules and stuff. Um, there are a few different uh, modes that are uh, available in this one, which mm. you couldn't play in the previous version. Okay, well, I was going to say, we'll definitely go into that kind of stuff. Um, during the actual walkthroughs and stuff like that, that would be awesome. But mm -hmm. no, I was going to say this, you know, it just it's pretty straightforward stuff in that sense. You get the rule book and obviously it tells you how to play, which is always handy. All right, tokens, 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 Plenty tokens. tokens. Oh, I just want to, I just want to tear them all open. Just pop, 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 pop. <laughs> get them all open. But now this again, very uh, reminiscent of the original, which is obviously good because you know they don't want to stray too far away from that, considering it does work and it is a really good game. What else do we have? Oh, new tokens. Yeah, the, these these four tokens are specifically new to uh, to this one, and I think it has something to do with the uh, 
the, uh, the, the, the character's abilities and the villain's abilities, because I think Ooh. this one is something to do with Mystique. Ooh, very cool, very cool. Okay. And Miniatures. look at this. Oh my, oh my days. Look at this. Alright. One thing I've already noticed as well, which I'm on, quite excited about, is uh, it's a very nerdy little thing. Like in the original, <laughs> yeah. uh, this little game count, uh, yeah. this game token was uh, light blue to look like the Tesseract, mm. uh, which I think was one of the uh, the red skulls. Yeah, it was red skulls. Yeah, that's right. And in this one with Magneto, there is a tiny oh. metal, metal cube. Oh, look at that. Oh, got to got to calm the excitement. It's so good. <laughs> That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> yeah, screw the miniatures, we're just excited about this. <laughs> oh, it's so good, right? You know what? We're going to do a very quick run through this. So, Juggernaut. Again, we won't go into it too far out of that zoom, just so you can actually see it, but how cool. Yeah, we can, we can get a, uh, a, a collection picture and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I think we'll probably add it towards the end of the video as well in terms of um, the miniatures and you're like just fading in and out and that'd be pretty cool. So you've got um, Juggernaut, you have Sabretooth. And like you said before, you've got the red characters which are the villains, the blue characters which are the heroes, and the purple which are the anti-heroes. So you can play those as either villains or heroes. Which is obviously awesome as well because I just love Magneto. Um, I just want to say I actually love Juggernaut. I love it all. I love it all. Um, so we have Wolverine 2, which again just looks so awesome. Even on say. his base, he's got an explosion. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, all right, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try and pick up the pace a bit, but because obviously I could spend all day looking at these. And um, we got Storm 2. Which again, obviously the base aspects are really cool. One of the things that I've, uh, I've, I've, I've found with the new miniatures, uh, they've, they've done a really, really good job of uh, giving them very dynamic looking bases. Mm, very true. And what we have here is, to be honest, one of my favorites, Cyclops. So, such an awesome character. Yeah, <laughs> <Is that laughs> gonna have to decide, um, gonna, oh, you know, I'm gonna try, I'm going to try and get the visuals in now. Um, I'll probably I'll say I'll edit it afterwards. But <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm, going to, I'm going to try and get some. Uh, so, guys, obviously watching now, if you see effects, that means I've added it in. If not, it's failed. <laughs> yeah, uh, effects not included in the box. No, no. <laughs> um, so, we have obviously Professor X as well. Oh, that's just awesome as well. Do you want to go through the rest? So I so. think the rest we've got uh, Jean Grey. Mm. Jean Grey is, to be honest, one of my least favourite. Um, but I think she's very cool character wise, but she is, um, yeah, I think out of the box. We also have the amazing Beast. The Beast. Don't really need to do a paint job on him, do you? No, so just, it's already just, blue. Give, just give him a nice good <laughs> wash, that's it. Uh, we've got Mystique. Oh yeah. Very, very sleek looking uh, model. No, I do love Mystique, it's very cool. And the man himself. Oh yeah. Such such a cool miniature with the uh, with, with like the metal bar and everything. Magneto. And then don't forget the silver item down here. Yeah. <laughs> the metal item. Just having floating that above his hand. Yeah. To get some sort of magnets or something, that'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly can't wait to start uh, painting them myself. Mm. I'm very jealous of uh, this box opening because <laughs> this is not my box. I have to wait for the Kickstarter to, to be released. But we will for sure be having games with it. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> alright, so I don't really want to destroy things, so but let's go for it anyway. Ooh, that's actually quite smooth. And if you have a look on the back there, they've got the X-Men logo, so you can tell these uh, location cards between the original Marvel ones. Okay. So can you actually, it uh, might be a tough question, can you actually mix them up? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they don't have any, uh, any specific text or anything on them that say that they have to be used with one or the other. So that's, that's even better, that just makes the game so much 
more replay and uh, replayability, everything like that as well. Yeah, just... Who doesn't want to fight Magneto in Asgard? Exactly. Come on, how good's that? <laughs> so again, we'll go through these very quickly, but um, again, you got so many things that just bring back so many memories. Sentinels. Yeah, I think we've gone through them all. So we've got some uh, pretty cool stuff in there as well. And what else do we have here? Is this the... So it's like it's the super villains uh, villain cards. Uh, let's tear this open without breaking anything. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> Get that out of the shot. <laughs> so Marvel United. So that's your standard oh, villain dashboard. Okay. So that's the... Villon dashboard. Right. So we got Magneto. Again, I'm trying to show Sarah at the same time, so it's like. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't mind. Like, it's, it's, no, no, it's, it's only it's, it's, it's for them to see. <laughs> yeah. I can see it later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah, so we got the Magneto strip here, which is very cool. Again, our work's awesome. Mystique. Again, you can pause it and zoom in and do what you like in terms of seeing this in detail if you want to see it now. We got Juggernaut. Do you have a different side to yes, Oh yes, I uh, do they all have different sides, good point. Oh, oh yes. they do. Well I never... So it looks like, ah okay, so one I'm of the additional villain. game modes yeah. is super villain mode, where a human player plays as the villains, so that must be what this side is. Ah. Um, and then on the opposite side you have the actual uh, villain card. Oh yeah, you got a special setup um, with Magneto. A mystique. The others don't have the special. Oh no, Saber Tooth does as well. Just Juggernaut. Juggernaut not... just runs forward. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> don't need any, anything too special. But yeah, so obviously then on the other side you do have the. Um, obviously the actual. Um, I want to say the. I don't know, the no, non player. Yeah. The non player, yeah. Yeah, the NPC bad guy. NPC, yeah. Go with that. So again, they are very cool. Got some awesome stuff there. And then we have cards. So many cards. Right, you sir, if you want to help us open the... Yeah, sure. ...all the side. If you can. Good thing that you can't see off screen, which is how much that we're actually struggling to open these packs. Yep. Yeah. Which... Sir is actually making better work than I am. <sighs> Ta-da! Cards! Ha! Love it. So excitement whilst, is real. Whilst Christine's still struggling, struggling. through there. <laughs> so each of these packs uh, includes your decks for each of your heroes. We've got Beast, Cyclops, Jean Grey, sorry that they're upside down, uh, Magneto, Mystique, Professor X, Storm, and Wolverine. So they include some really nice uh, ultimate artwork on each on some of the cards, and one of the other new things in these decks that you'll notice, uh, I think Wolverine specifically has as well, is he's got a card stating starting hand. So unlike with the other decks where you would just draw uh, randomly from a shuffled deck, this card also always starts in Wolverine player's starting hand. <coughs> Okay. Just one of lots and so, lots of... Yeah, and the tweaks, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, again, similar kind of vein here. So we got the, um, obviously, awesome cards here. Let me just turn them over so you can see. So you got, again, so you got clear threats, rescue civilians, defeat thugs. This is Cere uh, Cerebro as well, which is a nice little touch. No idea what that's going to do, but we'll find out. Um, Moderate challenge, hard challenge, heroic challenge, crowd control. We got basically you just go through all these at your own leisure when you get the box, um, or you can wait until we do an awesome video, which will be awesome, um, awesome video in terms of the playthrough and so on. Um, so you can get a better feel for it. But yeah, so you, you get tons of card content here, which yeah. is always a good thing. So the majority of those there being the, uh, the master plan cards for the mm. villains. So I'm just uh, oh dear lord, I pull that back in there. So yes, um, we're gonna wrap up now and give you our final thoughts. So for me personally, 
I love it, and no doubt you do too. <laughs> <laughs> Shock horror, of course, considering said I've loved it all the way through, and I so have you. What are your thoughts in terms of the actual like box, the size of it, the weight, all that kind of stuff? Is it lighter, heavier than the old one? Is it that kind of stuff? What are your thoughts well, on that? Well, in that regard, I do have a few comments. Oh. So, first of all, um, the actual like colour of the box, the artwork and stuff like that. Uh, the original Marvel United was sort of like a lightish grey. This is like a dark grey. Uh, it's black. And it looks so much nicer with the really colourful artwork. Mm. Um, it's like pops, so it, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, re it really makes the, uh, the, the the front piece of artwork uh, contrast more mm. against the actual box colour. So I really like that. Um, the weight, it's heavier than the last one. Um, there just seems to be larger miniatures, mm. and there seems to be made, there seems to be more content mm. because there's a lot more games modes uh, available inside Fair the box. Enough. Um, the size of the box, mm. it's not a standard box size, it's okay. slightly smaller. Ooh. And I have seen, like, my, th this is a Simon game, I've got loads of other Simon games, all their boxes are roughly about the same size, like right. the Zombicide, Arcadia nope. Crest, Arcadia yeah, yeah. Crest, blah blah blah. Um, so they stack all nice and neat on top of each other. This um, one is slightly smaller. I think what they want to do is put it as the pinnacle. Like your Christmas tree, you know, you put a Stack star. The you put the star right at the top, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think yeah, that's, no, that's actually a good point, though. So yeah, in in, in terms like I've, I've seen a couple of uh, people stack them next to each other. I've got my Marvel United stacked on top of my boxes, and they are slightly smaller. So you do have to put them on top uh, of your other boxes because otherwise they. They can look a little bit weird and they might get squashed mm. um, by some of the other boxes. So that's my only little nitpick. It is just a nitpick. Uh, the box itself, the size uh, of it and everything is still really good. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I, I like the size of it because um, for like travel as well. So if you are traveling, it's granted it is, it is a bit heavy, um, but in terms of the actual size of the box, I think it's great games if you want to take on holiday, other stuff like that, if you want to take it. Um, on adventures and all that jazz. In terms of the actual, as you said about the size of it for being placed obviously your storage system, I ain't got a storage system. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really have complaints. And basically I just goes in a cupboard kind of thing. I am looking to actually get all that. So no doubt I will come to uh, find that out for myself in the future. But yeah, I don't, to be honest, there's very little, the only, the only little gripe and it's to be honest, it's not really to do with the products as such, it's just, there is a bit of damage with the box itself um, when it did arrive, but then again, that's just that could be done through transition or anything anyway. So it's not really anything towards that per se, and that just comes from part par with board games, right? It will get you know a bit of chips here or there and a bit of damage to the box. So especially if you're planning to travel and do stuff as well, so that's not really um, anything negative as such. I like with mine, it's, it's just a little bit of a nitpick rather yeah. than an actual fault with the game or anything. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, yeah, so th again, the artwork, everything just looks amazing. Brings back so many fond memories of childhood too. So yeah, I don't know, for me personally, what we do is give ratings out of five. So I'm going to say five stars. I think it's the first five stars on the channel. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's the same for me as well. In, like, I loved Marvel United, I, I, mm. I would have given that a 5 star as well, and this just builds on it. Mm. Um, it. More game modes, really nice box, even better miniatures than, uh, than before, and more game modes included with it as well, which I'm really, really happy about because with the two systems, uh, both being Marvel United, all the contents are interchangeable. Yep. So all the stuff that came out with Marvel United is fully compatible with this one. And for me personally as well, what you said there, just like a bolt of lightning to say, I think it was um, Storm, probably electrocute me or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that is, that is perfect. So you can integrate, oh, it's just, I can just picture like, um, for instance, like Captain America, obviously Cyclops. That kind of stuff, and I'm like, oh, I'm in two excellent leaders on the board. You can't go yeah. wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, there's this. I think at the moment the base game for this is out. There will be uh, additional expansions mm. and stuff which is which are coming out. If you have a look on the Kickstarter for CMI, you'll be able to see them all on there. Um, 
But even if you were to just buy the original Marvel United and the X-Men Marvel United base boxes, that's like, what, um, 8, 15 uh, heroes that you can play with? Yeah, roughly. And you would have seven villains in total. So that's, and the fact that you can uh, change the heroes that you're mm. playing, change the number of players, uh, go against different villains with the Marvel uh, X-Men one, you can play super, super villain mode. There's so much you can do with mm. just those two base boxes. So, and again, that's, so I don't own the Marvel um, United, the original star set, as you know, and I'm looking to get that. And again, I've seen so many cool heroes, I know you've got them all because you show me, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> with Agreeing with Envy at all. Just wait until my kickstart for this arrives. Yeah, exactly. Deadpool, uh, Sentinels, Final, oh. uh, Final Fantasy. Fantastic <laughs> Four. <laughs> Fantastic Four, yeah. Uh, but no, honestly, I, I, for me, it's like some of the characters I want to get as well. For instance, like Blade, I want to get. That'd be so awesome. And just imagine Blade and Wolverine side by side. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. and, oh, and it's just going to be so. There's so many different possibilities. You get a group of friends around, play the game, and just have a good laugh. And we're going to look to do live content soon in the future on this. And I do digress because I'm so excited. So the, <laughs> the actual contents of the box, I would give it. I said, you know, five stars. And Sarah, what about you? Same, five stars. Five stars, perfect. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. And obviously, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and obviously drop a comment as well. It gives your thoughts on who your favorite heroes are, your villains, if you have played the game too, or the original game. And yeah, just let us know your feedback on the, on the content too. So thank you for watching, take care, and happy board gaming.